In this clip, we will talk about conditional probability. Um, we've, we've changed our current back a little bit so that it's easier to talk about. Uh, the previous one was nice, but uh, yeah. Um, so uh, we're going to have our back as just integers so that uh, we know for sure like this is 1, 2, 3. Okay? All right, so let's start with the review question. Um, so this is our sample space and let a be an event that uh, you get an outcome which is divisible by 3 so what is p a so how to figure that out we need to uh, basically count right we want to count uh, the number of uh, outcomes which is divisible by 3 so this is 1 2 3 right so it's uh, going to be 3 and the number of our possible outcome is 10 so this is 0 0.3 so that's the uh, solution so let's look at another review question all right so we have uh, uh, two events one is uh, a and b uh, a, a is the, the event that you get the outcome divisible by 3 and the other one is divisible by 2. Okay, so what is PA? We have already computed that, which is 3 over 10. What is what what is PB? So again, you count the number of uh, uh, number of uh, outcomes which which are divisible by 2. So this is 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 5, or 10. And that's... Uh, Five. Now P union B, how many of that? So it can either if so about by two and three. So I'll wait. I'll wait for you to figure that out. Right. Okay. The answer is seven over ten. Okay. And A intersection B. So this number is divisible by both two and three. Can you find one? All right, so it's the six, so you get one over ten. All right, so um, this is just a review question. All right, All right. So we we would look at a, a modified situation. Um, so previously we have a bag, right? And we we pick we here, okay. And we we pick something from the bag and and take a look, okay. Now someone just came here and, and take a look at the the object for us first okay and then he leaks some info uh some information is leaked to us and 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 before we see this uh we we hear something from this uh, person okay let's have someone here and then um yeah so that's the situation okay someone leaks some information to you before you see the actual outcome. So let's look at one example of that. Uh, suppose uh, uh, we have the same sample space and we have set A B an event that you get an event number. Now suppose that uh, yeah we we already know that uh, probability probability of an event A is uh, one one half. Now but uh, before we know that, someone just came to us and say, uh, okay, uh, the number is not only that uh, you pick this number from the back, but it's divisible by 3. Okay, is that, uh, is this information is going to change your beliefs? Or what the, is, is it going to change the probability that you get an, an even number? Right. So let's look at some before and after situation. Let me note again that by 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 telling you some information, it probably doesn't change the result. But the fact that some information is that way probably has an effect on your beliefs. That's what we can think about it. Um, so before you you are you know you're you're interested in this uh, red circle outcomes, right? Um, 
Now someone tells you that it's divisible by 3. So now what's the picture would look like? You suddenly know that, um, okay, it's not possible for me to get 1. This is not possible. This is not possible. It's not possible for this. not possible for that. That too and that. Okay. So, um, but what's left is these three guys. And they are all equally likely. From that, we can... Uh, now, we, we know that uh, we would end up with any of these guys with the same probability. So, what's the probability that we get... Uh, an even number. Okay, so we only have one left, right? So we have one left out of uh, what is, what's left. Uh, we only have three possible outcomes. The outcome that we are interest, interested in is just one. So, so this is the new probability that you get uh, an even number, which is uh, which is decreased from one over two here, because you know this fact. All right. So th the concept of uh, conditional probability is probably one of the single most important uh, concept in probability theory. So we would like to spend you know m more time on these topics so that you really understand it, and 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 we're gonna do that for sure. All right. So uh, now now we we look at uh, the probability model which is kind of simple so maybe it's the example probably won't you know convince you that it's really interesting so let's look at another uh, example but now we're going to change the model a little bit so and, and in this case we cannot really analyze it you know as clearly as we did before because uh, now we, we're going to have one back and we're going to pick two numbers from it Okay, so it's different from the first model, all right? But uh, I, I hope this gives you some some hints of why why conditional probability is kind of to be fun, okay? Um, all right, so let's look at the the new model, and then we'll come back to this this new model later on, okay? Um, okay, so in in this model we have a bag, again, and and we have ten numbers in this bag, okay? And there are two players. The first player, okay, picks some number from this bag and takes it, okay. And and the second player comes and take the next one. So uh, so for for the second player, uh, she only has uh, nine choices, okay. And 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 from this, uh, who gets the larger number wins. So for under normal conditions, so what if you are a second player, what is the probability that you win? So if we're gonna focus on the previous model, we have to draw like a back, but then you pick two things from the back. So how are you gonna reason about that? But but now we we we're gonna do it informally, all right? So because because there are two players. And, and and you get some number, right? The first first one gets some number that you don't know. The second one second one get, get another number that you don't know either. Alright? But uh these two numbers are, are different. So what's the probability that uh the second one has a higher number? Yeah, because um because uh uh for whatever number pairs of number these two people get there's another possible outcomes that uh, they exchange number, right? So uh, in this case, picking two numbers, what's the, the probability that one win is going to be like equally likely? So the probability that you win, so we're going to analyze this rigorously later on, but now just believe me, so it's one half. So, because it's, it, it's a kind of fair game, you just pick each pick one number, different number, uh, randomly from the back, and you don't know, right? So the probability that you win equals the probability that the other people and uh, the other person win. So yeah, it's one half. Now suppose that you happen to know that the other person get five. What's your chance to win now? 
So what's are the number? Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But you know that the other person already get five, right? Okay. Now you have nine choices left, and you see that uh, there are four choices that you would, you know, lose, and there are uh, six choices that you could win, right? So the prob probability that you win is uh, there are four, uh, five ways that you can win out of nine possible choices. So this is the probability that you win, which is a little bit higher than one half, right? A little bit higher. So it's like five, zero point five 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 five, blah blah blah. Okay, that's a good case. So let's look at another case. So if you know that the other person gets seven. So what's your chance to win now? So let's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and this one is gone, right? So the, your your ways to win is three out of nine. So that's just one half. Maybe you don't want to play it this time. So this is the kind of uh, changes that affect uh, your chance to uh, to win and and your calculation of probabilities because you know something. Let's go back and look at the previous example for, for, for a little bit. Right. Um, in the previous example we, we, we talk about the the event that we are interested in even event A, which is that you pick an even number. And and then uh, we we know that uh, another event, we know that uh, we actually pick uh, a number which is divisible by 3. Now, um, think about, if you think really think about it, uh, you, you can see that the fact that the number is divisible by 3 is also an event. Okay. So when we talk about uh, the probability that you get an even number when the number is divisible by 3, you're, we're talking about two events. One is the uh, when we talk when we say that uh, you get an even number, given that we know that the number is divisible by three, is one over one over three, one third. Uh, we are talking about two events at the same time. One is the event A that we are interested in. Another is event B. Okay, and event B is uh, is the condition on on. On, on which uh, the event A occurs. Okay, so 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 it's about two events. So, okay, do you see that? These are two events. All right, and 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 we have a not notation for this. So suppose we have two events, A and B, and the conditional probability of event A, given that B has occur, is written this way. Okay, you just put this uh, dash, this line here saying that uh, probability of A given B, so this is pronounced as given. All right, so let's do some example before we finish this uh, segment. Um, all right, so we have an even A to be the even that you pick an even number, and B is an even that the number is greater than 5. Okay, so what is A over B? So first of all, we know that B occurs Right. So let's uh, try to kill off all other outcomes, which is not in the event B. So it's greater than five. So bye 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 bye. Okay. So you are left with this. Uh, okay. So what is the probability that you pick an even number? So there are one, two, three. So it's three or five. Okay. Now suppose I change this from five to to uh, six. What would it be? Okay. So if this is six, then uh, this one is also gone. So you have the proper the 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 outcome that belongs to event A is uh, there are only two outcomes. So you have two out of uh, four remaining. So this and this is one half. And this is equal to the case when uh, when you don't have you don't know B, right? 
you don't know that uh, the number is greater than six or not. All right, so let's look at another example. Now, uh, let A be an even that you pick an even number, and B be the, an even that the number is a prime number. How to f uh, do you want? Well, we want to find a P A B, P of A given B. Okay, so I'll give you a minute, uh, you know, a few seconds to think. So what's what's this? All right, so it's uh, so let's queue off the non prime number one. So you have one, two, oh, oh, one, two, three, four, four numbers left, and in the even number, there's only one left, right? So it's one, one fourth. Okay, so the last example. Um, let uh, A be an event that you pick a prime number and B be an event that your number is divisible by 2. What's the answer? Okay, so there are five outcomes left, right? Because uh, And then there's only one, so five outcome lives. There's only one which is prime number, so it's one one fifth. All right. Uh, from from the previous example, uh, we've seen uh, what's the uh, conditional probability, and and we compute it probably uh, essentially manually. Okay, but there's a nice formula that that compute this value. Okay, based on the probability of other events. Okay, I believe you can, if you go back and look at what, what we've done, I, I believe you can figure it out, okay? So please spend a few minutes thinking about it before watching the next segment. All right, see you there, bye.